Heather LaCroix. And I'm Jeff LaCroix. Basically, I just wanted to sit down and just rant. Rant? Yes, because see, I got up this morning, uh -huh. got the kids off for school. Uh-huh. Uh, cleaned my house, then the mail lady ran. Yep. Got my electrical bill. Oh, yeah. yes. So this is how my day started. Got the electrical bill, mm -hmm. opened it up, and it jumped $80. I know we had ice storms and all that stuff, and uh, our heat run a lot harder, but man, it was the highest bill we've ever got since living here. So that made me mad, and it's a, some charge on there that just makes no sense to me, and I call and try to get an explanation, and I still don't understand what the charge is for. You know why you called and got an explanation and still don't understand? Because when the woman started to ramble, she didn't really know what the charge was for either. She was just making stuff up on the fly, and you could definitely tell that. I think it was just, I'm going <laughs> to screw you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> anyway. But that made me mad and agitated this morning. But I went ahead and paid it. You know, they got you. They, they, I mean, if you don't pay it, they cut your lights off. So I paid their little fee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I tell Jeff, it's time that we, we got to go get our big jacked up truck inspected right we don't use it as much now that heather has the new truck so it kind of sets around it's been neglected for a little while so we decided to take it and go have it washed and you know and i'm still learning the new camera so while heather washed the truck i'm snapping pictures and trying to learn the camera and all that and yeah he decides <laughs> he follows me around with the camera let, all the time when i put my makeup on he was taking pictures of me it's just it's, i let heather do all the work on the I, truck <laughs> i feel like i'm on a real tv or, or one of them real world shows like you know no jersey shore yeah, where i always no, got a camera no, in my face no, no. but uh, no i did scrub the truck half the truck at least I, I scrubbed on the truck i didn't just take pictures the whole time <clears throat> okay but no, the other thing was is that the inspection sticker on the truck had been out for about a month and a half because like I said, we don't, we don't drive it. So um, we, we take all our stuff to this one place and we have, you know, we have quite a few vehicles and we take all of them. They've been go using them for years and years and years. And so Heather actually had went and got her newer truck inspected at this other place, which is actually closer to where we live. And so she's like, well, just take it there. You know, everything yeah. on the truck works. I mean, well, that's I'm what he made. He made sure. It. He went out yeah, knowing I, that we were going. Didn't want to look like a yeah, bulb be out or something. Right, exactly. Show up there and something be wrong. We can't get an inspection sticker. So we go in and see Heather's friend. And, you know, we tell her everything on the truck works and, and stuff. And uh, while usually. I'm, while I'm standing there, I hear my vehicle crank. And I left my purse in there. I didn't know somebody was going to move the vehicle. That kind of freaked me out. Yeah, I mean, because normally they let you know they're fixing to do something. Or uh, the other place we go to, you know, you drive, you your drive own vehicle. Right, and you do everything while they do the inspection. And here, Heather's left her purse on the center console wide, wide open. open, you know. And there's a thousand dollars worth of camera gear laying in the floorboard right there. Dude just runs and jumps up in the vehicle and takes it around back to do an inspection. I guess that should teach us to keep our keys. Yeah, I guess so. So that, we'll take that one. That was our bad. Yep, should have locked it and all that stuff. Yeah, that way we'd at least know we could have went and got the stuff out of the vehicle. But anyway, so like Heather says, the guy cranks it up. And we're standing there, and I'm I'm not worried about it. I know everything on the truck works. It, you know, we've been having an inspected like that for the past what four or five years. Because see, the the tail light that the truck had got hit, and the tail light on the back has a crack, and you just put that little red stuff you yeah. buy at the auto it's or at the parts store. Lens repair tape. Yeah, I mean it's what it's for. It's not and like it, it's all busted. Right, and the tail light's like this big, okay? And it's like at the very bottom, it's got a busted spot and we put the piece of tape over it. And it's been like that for years and we've never had a problem with having it inspected and stuff. And Till today. Yeah, I know. So we go in this place and the lady comes and says, well, he, he's gonna fail it. And I'm like, what? For why? There's nothing wrong with it. Well, the, 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 the brake light lens is cracked. And I'm like, yeah, that's what the tape's on it for. Well, now that doesn't pass inspection. I'm like, They've been inspecting it like that for the last five years at the other place. And she says, well, that is something that she was saying something about another light. I think it was the light in the back of the truck, the cargo light. which is Yeah, cargo light. I mean, that don't have to work to pass inspection. But, you know, so I'm mad. Fine, 
just give me my stuff back. I'm gonna take it to where I originally take it, and I will get one. Yeah. And uh, and what was the the remark the guy made to you? Cause I look uh, when they said that I busted. I said I, I got I kind of got mad. I shouldn't have did that. And I just stormed out of the place and walked out into the parking lot. And, yeah. So he left me in there to deal with the folk. <laughs> And what was it that uh, oh, they started it off to you? I told him, I said, okay, just give me my stuff back. I'm going to take it to where I originally take it from. We're not going to name no names. And he said, you'd be lucky to, if they even give you one. <laughs> and I'm like, they gave it to me all the other times I had to get it done. They gave it to me. So it, the worst part is they send no. us down the road no. with nothing. Yeah. But you're supposed to get a little temporary one for like yeah. 10 days so that you can at least drive it to yeah. another We'll, we'll get it fixed and then take it somewhere else. Yeah, they're supposed to give you the fail, the orange fail sticker. We, we didn't, didn't even get nothing. that. We had nothing. So we had to drive, what, five more miles down the road to the place we normally go with nothing on it. And, uh, yeah, we get to the other place, and I go in and I ask the lady, I said, let me ask you this. If I have the, the, the tape that you put on a lens, you know, lens like that, to fix it is that illegal i mean will it still pass inspection she says yeah as long as you can see that it glows through the tape and i'm like well really the tape's at the bottom she said it shouldn't be a problem so i bring it in and she does the walk around and stuff she says i don't know what them other people were talking about they must be crazy there's nothing wrong with it but she did say that she was happy that he took the other sticker off for her <laughs> yeah because when it saved her the trouble of having to scrape but i tell you off. what i haven't had a beer in like Two weeks because I've been dieting, and let me tell you, that <laughs> made me want to drink. <laughs> My blood pressure was boiling. I was mad. I needed some alcohol or something. But once I took it to my people that I normally do, we were laughing and cutting up, so I didn't have to drink it all. Anyway, so you know, we got it taken care of. For those of you out there, if your vehicle fails an inspection due to something you think stupid look into it more and take you it probably summer. just take it right down the road and and they, they tell you there's nothing wrong with it and get it inspected but, but that's what's how our day went you know bad bad electrical bill bad service and it ended with good service in a clean truck yep well it's not completely clean matter of fact we'll, oh, you know, we'll cut this film now because yeah. you got to get out there and finish the inside Yes, I you know, wipe you, it down you're bringing the camera stuff. though right so you can take pictures while i clean that <laughs> truck no i think i'll take a nap now <laughs> <laughs> all right cut <laughs> Look at him. He's about to claw me. I'm just going to let him go.